There's one other figure that is, has been really prominent in my uh, triathlon journey as, as far as a mentor and a role model, and that would be Terry Lachlan. Um, we, I, I would love to talk about how Terry got involved in, in my life and my education as a triathlon coach, but uh, Terry, who's the founder of Total Immersion, is uh, really uh, very skilled at uh, what he does, which is teaching swimming, um, and he's a very skilled swimmer himself and his way of conveying what he knows about swimming and understands about it and the way that he's developed a system where other people can learn how to swim without struggling or fighting against the water has been you know, not only a, a very specific technical side of my triathlon coaching, but his whole approach to um, seeing swimming and seeing swimming as an, as an art and how do you take this art and convert it into grace and speed? Um, how do you take something that's so artful and um, and apply it to a practical situation, which is a triathlon. Uh, it's, it's really just helped me change a lot of how I think about teaching and how I think about approaching specific athlete problems. The story of how I became the head of coaching education at Total Immersion has to do with um, my enthusiasm for continuing to seek information from, from Terry after my initial coach training. I took my coach training in uh, February of 2010, I believe, and I had taken a weekend workshop about two months prior to that. Uh, my intention in taking the, the weekend workshop was so I could become a TI coach. What I didn't realize at that time was that I didn't really know what TI coaching was about. I just knew that I wanted to have more skills to offer my triathletes. I swam when I was in elementary school and junior high school but in high school and college I was not on the swim team and I felt at that time I felt like I would missed out on a big part of education about swimming you know as a triathlon coach I didn't feel like I had a lot to offer my swimmers and I would give them generic workouts or, or pray that they would go to masters so I wouldn't have to <laughs> write a workout for them but I, I really wanted to have more to offer them I had no idea what to do for them so I had been curious about getting TI coaching certification and one of the requirements was that you had already done a weekend workshop or had already taken a series of private lessons from a coach. So I signed up for the weekend workshop in January of 2010 and I had very little expectation that my own swimming would be changed or improved. I thought that I was a pretty good swimmer, but <laughs> in retrospect I realized that uh, not only was I not a good swimmer, but I didn't know that I wasn't a good swimmer. And Fortuitously, I've got video to prove that I was not a great swimmer prior to, to taking, taking my TI course. Um, so the whole experience, even just getting up to the coach certification part, was, was very eye-opening for me. So I had just finished my weekend workshop, and I'll tell you specifically the things that I learned because, again, if you don't know what you don't know, then you, there's no way to improve it. And it's, it's certainly not that I was a bad swimmer. I was very smooth in the water. I was graceful. I would get compliments on my stroke. And I think it's just that I've realized how much more potential there was for me to become a better swimmer, um, not only in how I look swimming, but in my speed. And uh, to, to be honest with you, the reason that I decided to take my pursue coach certification at that time is because I wasn't getting any faster. I was stuck at a certain speed despite lots and lots of training. I had done the escape from Alcatraz. I had done all the open water swim preparation and I was just stuck. I wasn't getting any faster. And I knew that there had to be more that I didn't know about. And so that's really what motivated me to, to take the coach certification at the time that I did. So when I took my weekend workshop, uh, there were just one or two very specific things that I remember uh, that helped me personally. And I know that the experience was different for everybody in the group. And I, I think that's one of the great things is that if you go into something like that open-minded, a weekend clinic or a workshop or any sort of a group setting, everyone in there is going to be at a different stage of development. So while some of the people may have benefited a lot from drill number one, I benefited a lot from drill number two. And I benefited a whole lot from the whole stroke swimming with specific suggestions that our uh, coach Dave Cameron was able to give to us. And the first aha moment I had was doing a drill called, that Total Immersion calls skate. And in skate, you're face down in the water, rotated slightly on your side, and you have one arm in front of you and gentle kicking to feel yourself gliding through the water without resistance. And I remember that the, um, the assistant coach who was there, uh, Devana Eubanks, 
she, all she did was touch my wrist with her fingertip. She, I had my hand out and she took her fingertips and just moved my wrist out into the proper position. And all of a sudden it was like all these blocks falling into place. I just felt this immediate relaxation. I felt instantly aligned with the water. I felt all of my core just sort of tune up and, and everything just suddenly worked together. And I, it was just such a simple maneuver. All she did was take her hand and move my wrist. So everyone's gonna have different experiences, but for me that was the first aha moment when I realized that my hand's in the wrong place and all this time I'd been thinking it was in the correct place. So that little touch by Devana uh, and that, that feature that the TI instructors are, are almost always in the water with the students making gentle adjustments um, really just turned a light bulb. And I still remember being in the water in the middle of that drill and suddenly having that light bulb go on. And from that point forward in the clinic, I, I was just turned on. I was so excited because everything from that point forward was made so much simpler because I, of this one little tiny adjustment. Um, for other people, the adjustment is different. It might be a head position, it might be a body rotation, it might just be developing awareness. So I, I got so excited about that that upon the completion of the workshop, I swam three or four days a week just practicing these small parts because I really wanted to make sure that they were imprinted in my muscle memory. And I really resisted looking at the clock or timing myself. And I would do the drills to sort of remind myself of the movements in the water and then practice slow, gentle swimming. And eventually when I started swimming laps again, I was swimming as fast as I was before but without using hardly any effort at all. And then when I started to add some, some speed to it, some increased speed of movement, my times quickly, I started setting personal records right away and I'm still continuing to get faster and faster. Um, so that eye-opening experience from one simple touch in the water, you know, a, a confident instructor that knows what, what she's doing, led me to uh, approach the coach training that occurred two months later, again with just really open mind. I'd gone into the weekend workshop closed-minded, being sort of very self-centered, thinking that I was just going to get some skills to, to give to my triathletes. And I emerged realizing that there's this whole wide world of, of things that I, that I don't know about in swimming, but in general about teaching and instructing. So when I took the coach training in Coronado, California, in March of 2010, it was a whole lot of hands-on training. It was a five, six, seven, seven or eight day program at that time. Um, hands-on with students for several hours each day and uh, private time with Terry and the other coaches with coach training exercises. And all during that time, lots of questions. I, I did a lot of journaling during that time. And upon the completion of the coach training, I found myself emailing or, um, yeah, emailing Terry um, almost daily for a couple of weeks with more questions and more questions and more questions. And as I'd go to the pool and practice, I'd have an eye-opening revelation. And so I'd email Terry to ask if this is right or not right. And I was also bugging Dave Cameron, who was my, the, the head coach at the TI training at that, that I took. Um, and I, I think that that experience of having so much interaction and continuing to just learn and absorb more and more information um, added on my previous experience that I talked about with um, you know, Outward Bound, learning how to teach the skills, learning how to do soft skills with groups as well as technical skills. All of these things just layered on top of one another. And you have to keep in mind that in the middle of all this was seven years of medical education where there's a lot of hands-on approach with, um, with patients, a lot of teaching, being taught by professors and medical residents and teaching. And so all of these things really just layered on top of one another like a big, uh, you know, a giant puzzle. And at the end of all that, well, I'm not at the end, I'm still still learning and growing, but I, I think that there was something in there that Terry saw and appreciated and, uh, and asked me to be a big part of helping to train new coaches. My favorite memory or instance as a TI coach was probably one that happened most recently. I was teaching a, a two-hour morning workshop as part of a, a lead into the Pittsburgh Triathlon, and we had 12 students enrolled and uh, two coaches there. And I was taking them through a series of focal point swimming, small amount of drill, and then a focal point on top of that, and then swimming to practice that. So really going from less of the drill, drill, drill experience that I had had in my weekend workshop, which is still offered by some coaches, to more of a, here's, here's a drill and something to think about during the drill, and now we're going to swim right away. So I was with a group of 12 students, and we had gotten about um, two-thirds of the way through this two-hour workshop. And up to that point, there were a lot of little improvements, but like I mentioned uh, 
previously, each student was in a different place. Everyone was sort of learning something different. And so one activity might be great for one or two people, but then everyone else is kind of bored with it. So trying to cycle through a lot of stuff. And we got to one focal point that had to do with, um, with the recovery arm of the stroke. Uh, you know, how the arm comes out of the water and, and how you manage it, what you do with it while it's there. And something clicked for everybody all at the same time, and I could not get them to stop swimming. It, the, up to that point, it had just been, you know, down and back. Do we need to do it again? You know, can I do it again? But that one focal point, I don't know what happened. It was like magic, and the other coach who is, um, you know, fairly new at swim coaching looked at me, and we were like, they won't stop. We can't get them to stop swimming. Uh, and it was just so exciting to see so many, a whole pool full of people, you know, 12 students, all there to learn, learn new skills, just really putting all the pieces together up to that point. It had only been about 90 minutes of instruction, and every single one of them had something that was working superbly for them. And they just kept going back and forth, and I, I just let them swim for about 10 minutes, just enjoying that sensation. So it was probably the most single, singular eye-opening experience that I've had, but that's just one example of a lot of really nice experiences that I've had as a coach. Oh, I felt fantastic. It was just, it's the biggest uh, joy that, I've, that I have as a coach. And, you know, I could tell you that I like teaching a small de technical detail or that I like talking about physiology or, or something really detailed, but just that, that feeling of joy and it's, it's, it's like a high that I can't really explain. I can't tell you how to get it or how to find it, but when you have, whether it's one person or the whole group, and in that case, a whole you know, 12 people, they all wanted to stick around for another half hour to 45 minutes to ask questions and review video. And I was just elated, um, you know, the entire day. And it was only, that particular experience was only a couple months ago. And whenever I'm feeling a little bit down or, you know, not quite sure what to do next in the lesson, I think about that. And just, I know that I have this process that I go through. And if I teach these skills with, in this foundational order, people are going to get it. Um, and it's just a matter of finding, discovering where the person is at that time to really tune into what they, they need at that moment. And I may not know when I first see them, but in, mentally if I go through the, the process, I'll find it for that person and then I find that joy again. And I see that person experiencing that same sense of freedom in the water and just suddenly able to, to swim and move through the water without thinking about the technical aspects, just enjoying the way that it feels and, and discovering new sensations that they never expected to feel in the water before.